We begin tonight where we all began, in preschool. As it turns out, preschool isn't a thing of the past for one group of adults. Yes, adults living in Brooklyn, where you can see a store that only sells artisanal mayonnaise from a store that only sells hot sauce. Well, Brooklyn has finally out brooklyned itself by introducing a preschool for adults. The name of the program? Preschool Mastermind. We send who we consider to be the real preschool mastermind, correspondent Tai Lin, to cover the story. Thanks, Alicia. My name is Tai Lin. I'm checking out on Preschool Mastermind. I'm a mastermind at preschool because I'm in one myself. Do adults have more fun than kids? Let's find out. What are we doing here? What are you doing here? Just reporting. I don't think I'm going to get into that. I thought when you turn older, you can't play anymore. What do you think about that? A lot of people think that. And that's why the people need reminders that we can actually play. Sounds a little weird, but fun. <laughs> I always thought I'd grow out of this. The mysteries of adulthood astound me. How did you get started here? I actually studied to be a preschool teacher when I was in college for two years. And I love the idea of the preschool classroom. I think that the lessons we learn in preschool are really important. And so I decided to say, well, what if grown-ups need to maybe learn some of these things again? Speaking of college, yeah. does anyone in here have a PhD? Well, I have the first year of an English PhD. What's the future of Preschool Mastermind? In starting a conversation about how adults can play, we can also start a conversation about how kids play as well. A systemic death of children's playtime and overscheduling and a belief that kids need to grow up really quickly. It's about a whole culture learning how to come together through play, to set aside differences and recognize how we are all similar. We're getting into unicorn worlds now. I'm a fairy, though. I'm not a unicorn. Where's your wings? I don't like to show them all the time. So I, like, suck them inside when I'm doing things inside the home. It's a little gross. The class is getting good. It's a little on the what-the-heck-is-happening side. So you're <laughs> a girl boy? Actually, yes. Sometimes when adults grow older, they learn that societal rules that they were previously playing by no longer apply to them. So like when I was in preschool, my favorite game was Pretty Pretty Princess. Have you ever played that game? I would, but I'm sort of working right now. Welcome to Circle Time. Today we're gonna to start off Circle Time with a question. Am I the most professional reporter you've ever had? Define professional. Someone who's awesome. Awesomeness? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> I think that's the whole thing about adulthood. You gotta be creepy if you wanna do something. I like to eat, eat, eat waffles and s'mores. In my opinion, it's a little cheesy. A mouse would love this. Cheesy. I like to drink, drink, drink bubble tea and smoothies. You guys are adults. No one wanted beer or wine. I have one final question. Yes. When's nap time? <sighs> nap oh. time. Oh, it's such a good idea. I'm so glad you asked. OK, Alicia, this is my cue to go. Preschool mastermind, I can't wait to grow up so I can be a kid again. I'm out. Thank you, Tylin, for that groundbreaking report. <laughs>